Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Nathan, this is Royal Masters. So, we got the beloved Roblox S6 in front of me, and I'm in a pickle here, because even though I like the Roblox S6, the Roblox S5 Max just came to market, and it has a lot of great features for about $430. Okay, I want to thank my friends at GearBest for sending me these promotions for the Roblox S5 Max. Currently, it's at $430. So it's basically originally at 500 and you get like a $60 coupon if you go and click my link, build link. So I do in a small commission if you click on these links, but it helps out this channel. All right, so why am I in such a pickle here? Well, I like the Roblox S6, but getting the Roblox S5 Max doesn't make sense to me to have both robot vacuums. And honestly, I've been looking at the specs of the Roblox S5 Max. Here's a quick look at the specs between the S5 Max, the S5, or known as the S50, just a different color scheme, and the S6. Okay, if you look very closely, they all have the very same suction. They also have the same battery, but keep in mind that the S5 Max can run 3 hours, whereas the other two can only run 150 minutes. The dust bin on all three are about the same, slightly smaller than the S5 Max at 460 milliliters, but keep in mind that the water tank's a lot larger at 290 milliliters. So the mopping attachment is pretty easy. You just slide in the mopping pad, fill up with water, slide into robot, and you're good to go. This is just a gravity bed. It uses water systems. So what it uses is these little droplets here. And with gravity, it kind of allows water to seep through the mopping pad. One thing to note is you do have a mechanical adjustable switch on the S6. But with the S5 Max, it's electronically controlled. And there's three water settings you can control with the app. The S5 Max has all the great features that you expect from the Roblox S6. It has the smart mapping, it also has advanced algorithms, room select, it has keep out zones, it has recharge and resume. But one thing that the S5 Max has over its siblings is the ability to customize the power settings in each area. So one example is in the left there, you got the high power section. And then up top, you got the medium water flow, great for like hardwood floors or tiles and then if you got more delicate hardwood floors go ahead and select the low water setting off to the right there or the yellow section as you can clearly see it's very customizable you can customize the three water settings and you can customize the four power settings very nice this is the only feature that is offered in the roblox s5 max the s6 the s4 the s5 does not offer the ability to select the power settings within each zone with the s6 if you want to not mop in those areas, you do have to physically remove the mopping pad. Now, the S5 and S6 have all the usual features. You got the keep out zones, you got the area select. You also have room select, so you can actually create rooms within the map and just select the area, very handy feature. Both offer the go function, which allows you to drop a pin on the map and you can tell the robot to go to a certain area. So, this is just a quick video of the Roblox S5 Max. I think it's the better value just because it offers basically the same features as the S6 but at a lot cheaper price, $430. So even though the S6 is also on sale at $550, you can get even a better deal going with the S5 Max at $430 with that $60 coupon. So I just want to give you guys my thoughts on the S5 Max. I'm really excited for it and I probably will replace it with the S6. Uh, because it offers the same amount of features for a lot less. Alright, have a good rest of your day. See you later.